You're never gonna believe what this two ingredient fluffy white bread is made with. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making a two ingredient bread that resembles the Wonder Bread from back in the day. Now these are not your traditional ingredients for bread. Usually it's just some flour, yeast, sugar, you know, the, the norm. Here we're gonna be using some egg white powder and cottage cheese. Guys, I'm telling you, cottage cheese has become like the new cauliflower. Like you can literally make anything with it. Now, um, today I'm gonna show you how these three little ingredients is gonna turn into a bread that is like mind blowing. So we're gonna start off with our egg whites. Um, you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer. I'm gonna do it with a hand mixer in case you don't have a stand mixer so that you can see what the process is gonna look like. So we just have our, just a bowl and then we have our egg white. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything linked so you know in terms of the egg white powder um, and you know exactly which brand that I used um, to make this. And then we have our water. I haven't tried liquid egg whites. I have only used the egg white powder. Now, if you do end up trying the liquid egg whites, comment down below, let me know. Um, but this is what I've made and it works perfect. So now we're just gonna go ahead and whip this up. You are gonna wanna whip this until stiff peaks. So I will show you what it should look like before we mix in our cottage cheese. So this does look a little crazy at first. You can see here, it just starts looking like really frothy. You're just gonna keep going. So this is definitely gonna be one of those recipes where it's like, you have to trust the process. <laughs> it will turn out, but um, it might look, you know, might look a little, a little different, we'll say. Okay, so here we're about a minute in, and as you can see, it's already getting nice and thick, but we're gonna keep going because we want these to be nice and stiff peaks. So don't get lazy on me, okay? Because they really do have to, in order for this bread to turn out and to have the, the height that we want, you have to get it to be really, really fluffy. All right, so our egg whites are completely fluffy. This is exactly what you're looking for. This did take a little more time because they will be stiff peaks, like where you can actually flip the bowl over but if you want that like wow effect of the bread being like super high, then you want it to get really, really fluffy, okay? So this is what you're looking for in terms of stiff peaks. Now for the cottage cheese part, we're gonna blend that. I'm just gonna use my little blender. Toss this baby in here, okay? Pour that right in. And this is just full fat cottage cheese. I hope I'm making it all in. Probably not, you can see a few pieces here. Okay, and now let's go ahead and blend this. And I will show you the next step. And now we just blend. Help it a little, cause we're not adding any water or anything like that. Okay, so this should be nice and smooth now. It almost looks like ice cream or like a, I don't know, yogurt. Like it's just completely smooth. And now what we're gonna do is fold, okay? So you don't wanna mix this because we wanna try to keep these egg whites as airy and fluffy as possible. If anything, I would actually first blend the cottage cheese just because the egg whites do start to deflate after a little bit. As you can tell now, they were fluffier, but it's okay, it's still gonna be nice and fluffy. So now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and mix the two together. So we're pouring in the cottage cheese right in onto the egg whites, and we are going to fold. Let's get every little bit. Okay, so now we are going to fold. No mixing, just kind of folding. Try to keep it as airy as possible. Guys, and that is it. Okay, and now we're just gonna put it right into our bread loaf. So these here, you can pick them up on Amazon. I'll leave this one linked in the description below. You can put parchment paper or use like a silicone so that it doesn't stick. We're gonna go ahead and use um, some parchment paper and spray with a little avocado oil. 
Okay, so we have our parchment paper. Spray a little avocado oil at the bottom. Okay, bottom and top. And now we are gonna go ahead and pour this right in. Now the fluffier you get your egg whites, the taller your bread is going to be, okay? Okay, you do not wanna smash it down. Just gonna do that. All right. And now we are gonna get this baby right into the oven. Just make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and cook this for about 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes, but we'll check it at the 30 minute mark. I cannot wait to show you how this turns out. Now, while our bread is baking, I wanna take a moment to give Seed a special thank you for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, this is Seed's DS1 Symbiotic. It's a probiotic and prebiotic in one, a capsule within a capsule that actually makes it all the way down into your colon, feeds all the gut bacteria that needs to be fed down there. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. Now, I used to suffer from bloating after I ate, inflammation, my hair was falling out, super, super dry skin. So if you guys are experiencing any of those symptoms, a high quality probiotic and prebiotic is a great place to start. Along with obviously making changes to your diet, not eating processed foods, all of that plays a huge part. But if you guys don't have a high quality probiotic and prebiotic, I highly recommend Seed. Now I do have a discount code, which is low carb love, and it'll get you 15% off your entire order. So I will leave a link in the description below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my two for the day and we are good to go, cheers. Okay, let's go ahead and check on our bread. All right, moment of truth, here goes. Ooh, guys, look at this bread loaf. So we've let our bread cool and now we are about to slice into this. But what are your first thoughts? Let me know, I wanna know how you guys feel about this right now. I know it doesn't look like a traditional bread loaf, but trust me, once we slice into it and once you actually make something with it, like I don't know about you, but I don't typically eat bread just straight out of the bread loaf. Like I always make a sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly, you know, something along those lines. And um, same scenario here. We, you definitely wanna make something with it. I wouldn't just eat it, you know, plain Jane. It's not that type of bread, guys. Let's go ahead and put our little bread on a cutting board. And let's cut right in. And you will just cut this as thin or as thick as you want. Our bread is sliced and now there's only one thing left to do and that is to taste this. Now, this bread you would use exactly like you would a loaf, a regular loaf of bread. You can make a chicken sandwich, an egg salad sandwich, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I actually love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with this bread. Um, I feel like you, I don't know, it's just like when you bite into it, it just reminds me of regular bread. We're gonna go ahead and tear a little piece so I can tell you, just kind of like describe the texture here. Nice and airy. It is not like dense. If it gets dense on you, that means you cooked it for too long. I did that with my very first loaf I ever baked like this. It doesn't have a bad flavor. It doesn't have that eggy flavor. I would say it is very, very neutral. And I know it's crazy because it's obviously made of egg whites and the cottage cheese, but the only way to describe it is just like a very neutral taste. So if you make, whether it be a grilled cheese or I don't know, maybe this would be good for French toast. What should I try to make with this guys? Because maybe I can make like two really, like three really unique recipes or something. I don't know, but for sure, um, anything that you put into it will dominate the taste of the bread. You typically don't just get a loaf of bread and eat it, you know, like this, but I wanted to kind of describe the texture. It also has like a really nice little crust on the outside. See? And then the inside 
is very, very soft. So I just want you guys to see like, it is, you know, like a soft texture. So guys, have fun with this, make it, come back, comment down below, let me know what you made, what you thought, what do you think of the texture, the taste, all of that, because I already know it's good, but you can go ahead and share that with everyone else. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this unique recipe. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.